Good morning, guys. Hopefully you guys are doing good this morning. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. We got a lot of pipe to put in. A short time to do it. According to the uh, weather forecast, we'll make it happen. Morning, man, behind the scenes. Morning. I see you managed to find yet another new pair of gloves. Yeah. I'm impressed you've had the same hat on for I know, I know. like three, four videos in a row. This is a change. The old, uh, what do we call that? The uh, purple skunk? You, yeah, you call this the purple I smelled skunk. the purple skunk driving in here the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. All right. I told our people we got a whole lot of pipe to put in, and according to the weather forecast, we don't have a whole lot of time no, to get no. it done. So the majority of the pipe we are putting in this round is four inch. So we're gonna try to switch over to our other boot. The difference between the four inch boot and the six inch boot is basically the size of the hole coming out of the back. If you run four inch through that one, which we've done before, you take the risk of dirt getting under the pipe. That's why we put that wood block in there. We got enough, <clears throat> well, I guess what I'm trying to say is we got enough pipe to put in. I think it's worth putting in the other boot, don't you think? Yeah. And in theory, this one should pull easier. We've only used it one other time. Guess what else I remembered? What else remember? The weight. The weight, yeah. Which that'll definitely help yeah. us all grade. So, all right, let's uh, Weak let's light, but let's do the old. Never, I guess. <laughs> let's do the old switcheroo. All right. We have not had that boot in there since we redone everything. Yeah. So I'm hoping this is not an issue this morning. Uh, yeah, me too. Man, that other boot fit in there like an absolute glove. That system, that system we got worked so well. Took a little less than 10 minutes to get that boot switched out. We're gonna get this weight. Wow, just that thing's heavy. Get this weight set on the front of the dozer and we're gonna be off. What this weight does, it helps me with traction. More importantly than that, it keeps that dozer from teeter totting as much when we're trying to keep grades really close, like where we're running really flat right here. We don't have a whole lot of room for air, so this just kind of helps us keep everything, everything leveled out. That's why we use it. Use it occasionally and don't use it all the time. It kind of depends on what the situation situation we're in as far as what we're plowing and what the grade's like and ground conditions and there's just there's just a few factors to go into today is definitely one of those days where we need it i get this thing to roll around here come on
Looks good, don't it? Yeah. We are officially off. We're gonna do this little little section right here first. I think there's nine runs coming up through here. The weather forecast for like the next three days. 70% chance of scattered showers. So hopefully with a 30% chance we miss everything. We can get this done. We need to get this done and get out of here. If we do get that rain, this is gonna turn into an absolute mud hole. So we're gonna go down here and start getting these start holes popped in. And away we go. Alright guys, the whole trick to the success of how fast and easy this is going to go is how fast I can get down to these tile lines, find the pipe, and not damage it. So all Aaron has to do is come in. All Aaron's got to do is come in, drill a hole in it. We'll uh, put our T-tap in, and away we go. Quick and precise is going to be what we're going for. I also got to dig the hole big enough we can get in to work. I don't want to dig it too deep. Or too big where it's Jump down here and show you. This is what we found with the excavator. What I want to do, I don't want to dig down too low because we're going to put a four inch into the six inch. So we want to stay up just a little bit. And then on this side of stuff, I got a nice little flat bottom with maybe a slight, slight, slight slope up. So we'll set that plow down in there and then we'll go right along that way. So Aaron is rounding up. Aaron is rounding up whatever he needs to get all that stuff in there. The other thing I need to do is right here where we're sitting at. I need to make sure all this dirt, make sure all this dirt's pushed back to the edge right here. And then whenever, that way, whenever we back up, and set the plow down in here. Those are sitting nice and level because I don't want to take off on a crooked note. So there we go. I was ready. Oh man, guys, we got lucky. Found it again. Beautiful.
All right, guys, there's the last one right there. We are right on, I'm talking right on the end of the pipe. That was a little bit of an accident, but it worked out. But the good news is we have found the pipe and got it dug up everywhere down through there. And we are bang on, bang on the money down through there. Aaron's in this first hole getting the, look at that. Every one of them's just as pretty as could be. Hey, good news. I didn't damage the pipe. On any of them? Any of them. That's good. The very, very last one, I'm on the end of the pipe and it hooks up like the last six inches and I barely nicked it, but it ain't gonna hurt anything. All right, good deal. Oh, look at that. You've already got a T-tap in. See, that's perfect the way you got it, how it's angled up just a little bit. Yeah. That way everything will drain into it and, and go. All right. Is there any water in it? No. There wasn't. Dry? Yeah, it was dry. That's perfect. So. All right, well, while you're uh, banging those in, I'm going to go ahead and get our laser set up. All right. While well, Aaron's working on getting his T taps in, we're going to get the laser set up and survey. We run all of our grade based off laser. We do not run GPS. There's pros and cons to both. The big thing is, this is a whole lot cheaper for what we do and honestly i still believe it's a little bit more accurate it just takes a little bit more work on getting everything laid out so a couple things you need to pay attention to we are plowing everything this way so we need to make sure our x r y axis one or the other is parallel to what we are plowing so basically these two gun sights lined up are lined up on our flags now once we get this laser set up right here we can leave it set up all these are pretty much going to be on the same grade so we'll just keep leapfrogging holes over. We'll just have to adjust our receiver on there. Right now, I got this thing completely zeroed out. I'm gonna shoot a baseline grade when we're starting out here. And then we'll go up there to the other end, see how much rise we got. Hard to do one handed. See how much rise we got and then uh, adjust our slope accordingly to get what we can. I think that's a hitch I did. Yeah, good looking one too, huh? Well, that's the better one. <laughs> All right, I got my base set. Somebody needed a few pieces and parts. How's that? Uh, how's that excavation job doing there for you, bud? Started out great. Tell the operator to stick the hole. We start to get lazy towards the end, get a little sloppy. Uh, that one did right here. This one. Uh, just a few lessons I got to give him. It's like a parade, hand up. I tell you what, you want to switch? Huh? I want you to dig, and I'll install two guys. No, we already got a system down. Oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> the system ain't as bad as you yeah. thought, huh? Oh, no, there's water in that one. I don't like that. You can have that one. Okay, we'll switch on that one. That's pretty much in the pipe right there. Right you see there, it? yeah. Gotcha. Oh, look at that. You got one left for me. Yeah, there you go. All right. I'm going to take him up and get the tractor. And we're going to shoot the grade on the other end of this thing. All right, guys, we got that laser set dead zero. And if you look, we're about six inches off. So how we're going to get our slope is we're starting off four feet deep. But we can lose a foot between here and there. So what we're going to do, got the fancy little remote right here. Hopefully it connects to my lows, connects to my laser. Channel search, it says. Oh, it found something. So there's the same display that I have down there. So on the x-axis, I'm going to go negative 500, which is my guess where it's going to be. It's resetting itself, and we'll see, uh, see where we're at. Like I said, that's kind of all we got to light and everything on here. We knew this was good. Oh, look at that. Puts us right on grade. I think we can go a little bit more. We may try to go one-tenth on that. See what we can come up with. Super scientific uh, method here. But it's uh, it's kind of foolproof because you got known points and you're checking them before you ever uh, shoot grade. You know what I might do? Let's go over here. I'm kind of shooting the average on these because they're going to change a little bit. We may plow these first two on one-tenth. Plow the middle two on five-hundredths. And then switch over to those end ones down there. Let's see what we got down here on the far, far end. Oh, look at that. It's pretty, pretty close. 
Lay's pretty flat on that. We're gonna adjust that up just a little bit and we're gonna run with it. We got, so we got that main line in so deep so we know we could, uh, get that main line in so deep so we know we could get a little bit of fall coming up through here as we knew this laid pretty, pretty flat. So, all right, laser set. Aaron's got the T-taps in. Stretch some pipe and go plowing. Oh, you got the high dollar DeWalt drill today. Yeah. You gotta be careful, is that one rip, you, rip your hand off? Huh? So I see water in the hole, is there water in the pipe? Yeah, there's water in the pipe. Really? Yeah. You show them? Oh, I can see in there or not. Oh yeah, you can see the you can see the water in there. Now the real quick. And it is it is blowing. <laughs> was it flowing the right way? Yeah. Oh you so, that right. Yeah, you can I mean it's not a lot. It's just barely over the ribs flowing, but like the little piece of plastic yeah. you can watch. What is crazy? As this is the wettest hole, but it's the highest one up here. Yeah. <laughs> like you'd think the water would be down there. Nope, it's up on the ridge. Yeah. It's crazy. The other thing that's pretty impressive, I watched Aaron drill that hole. We have no tile stretch whatsoever. You can see how tight those T-taps fit in there. Yep. Beautiful. All right, All right. we're going to go finish getting our laser set up. We got our... We got our slopes figured out. Survey crew was on it. I don't know if I trust survey crew. <laughs> hey. I like locate sometimes. Hey, our locate was on it too. <laughs> I said our locate was good. Ours was, but the yeah. locate that came out that one job, I don't know about. All right, it's about time to go plowing. All right, guys, it's go time on the first run. I bought this super nice mouse, put my phone right here. I left it in my other truck, so I'm gonna have to uh, improvise with the cup holder again. I want it up on the flag. forward still need to get this tied into my automatic grade control system i built but better what we had before guys that went flawless definitely got that other boot fixed look how i hadn't made zero corrections absolute perfect perfect straight line we nailed our flag didn't we oh yeah nailed it all my guidance <laughs> <laughs> the uh you guys can see the you see the pipe laying out down there Very nice. Very nice. Look right there. Nice Sweet. deal. I love it. All right, here we go. It's a lot easier with these four inch. I hope they're all like this. I know you got to find it hard to believe but the four inch is not as big as this thing. Huh, really? Hey. Never would have thought that. So I'm a six year four.
country. Just like racing go karts. Just for the record, I won that race. But since I won that race, <laughs> we had a little cave in right here. Apparently, neither one of us worked fast. <laughs> I, I think it was vibration you were putting through the ground. But hey, I was just running half throttle. Oh, man. Yep. Worse. Yeah. Don't worry, I got it. All right, thank you, boss. Laser set, pipes connected. We lined up on her flag. Right, right go time, roll. right? Yep. It's go time. What that about? It must have just who won the who won the race now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I come over there and the tire tracks over here where you're driving like a. Ma you know, if I would have done that, you would have had some say about it. No, I wouldn't have. Right here. Oh look. There's my cap. Uh, but, just fell out. But over there, they just fell out from over there. The wind. Feel that wind? Look. See, look which way the wind's blowing. Yeah. Okay, where's all of his friends at then? Oh, oh there's there. one there, there's one there. <laughs> uh. Oh, interesting. Huh, it's like every time you went maniacing down through here, look, there's a whole bunch of them up here. Oh. <laughs> uh. Man, there was a lot of bumps coming up through there, and I was going slow too. <laughs> and I don't think the wind's blowing any harder, and these are a lot farther away. I should have never hit that NOS button. On that. <laughs> oh. Hey, it is easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good thing they're cheap. Hey, you just won't tell them after that happens. <laughs> Yeah, he bought them. <laughs> All right, we are to the end of another run, there, buddy. That went pretty yes. smooth again, didn't it? Yeah, it did.
we're going to try to lay this one down on the ground pick it up off the ground and see if it uh just kind of see how it does just kind of see what's easier experiment a little bit this is what i'm trying to say a little fashion experiment all right so he's laid far enough it's staying on its own let's chase it
Is that cap still in that end? guys that is this section completely done seven runs tied in complete you can already see the water coming in we're gonna jump over do this section and if i can find a new gap battery for this gopro we're gonna time lapse it yeah no promises it ain't looking good guys <laughs> 